is probably the newspapers for historians. Now, as we all know that newspapers are very useful, uh, either for the poor uh, people or for the millionaires. Uh, newspapers are uh, works equally. So, uh, we need to see that uh, how newspapers are being shown by, uh, are being seen by the various people who are belonging from various fields, like uh, how teacher looks towards the newspaper, how engineer looks towards the newspaper. So, uh, I'll be describing, I'll be explaining uh, how the historians look towards the newspaper to record the history. So, we can take, uh, we can give it a subtopic like uh, uh, history, no, newspaper as a history recorder. So, my topic is uh, newspapers for historians. So, if we compare the newspapers in 19, uh, 1960s, 70s or 80s uh, and uh, in 20s, so there are a lot many differences have, uh, have been seen in newspapers like uh, newspapers have been, sorry, have been travelled a lot from the centuries and became one of the essential tools to record the history in its own way. Uh, it has been, it have been, have been travelled from the colourless to the coloured newspaper, from the informative to the self centric It is one of the most uh, significant uh, change that has been done in newspaper that uh, in, in 70s and uh, 90s newspapers were uh, much informative. Their, their job is to give the information to the people what is happening, what events are going on in the world, uh, in the country. But uh, now uh, it is going towards the self-centric that uh, how particular uh, people, how individual. Uh, if you look towards the newspaper, uh, you can find that uh, this advertisement or this uh, event is useful for me. So it is becoming nowadays a self-centric that how can you be, how can you be benefited uh, uh, from various products and uh, advertisements. It is a kind of business in its own capacity. A uh, lot of many people are joined uh, in this newspaper like publisher, editor, journalist. A uh, lot of many people are there so it, it can be considered a kind of business in its own capacity. Uh, then it is travelled from printed media to the digital era. Now WhatsApp, Facebook, the posts of uh, Facebook can be considered as a kind of news and uh, can be recorded as a history. One of the most uh, significant change came is that uh, uh, first it was news job was to give the uh, information to the uh, people and it is a kind of a uh, Marxist uh, ideology they have fo followed but now it, uh, uh, it become a capitalist that uh, even in the front page of uh, the Times of India you can find advertisement so the purpose we can understand of newspaper then newspaper as a history record uh, newspaper as an old person who has observed many events through the centuries uh, if we consider newspaper as a kind of mad person we, we uh, normally uh, look towards the new old, old person as a very experienced person and uh, whatever he or she says uh, we can consider as uh, experienced or we can consider that informative but uh, newspaper is also a kind of thing the how much newspaper old is this uh, this is uh, upon that I this uh, uh, newspapers are used by historians for three purposes uh, learning facts about uh, specific events, looking for long term trends and searching for details or the texture around the events. So we can take the examples that uh, historians, how they use the newspaper. Uh, many historians are there, there, uh, there um, who are who only use the uh, newspaper as uh, observe the politics, political events. Uh, then some people, some historians are use newspaper as, a, as to to know the texture of people that what is going on in the city from uh, from the early centuries to the present time then some of the students are look at the newspaper as a kind of uh, analytic they are doing analysis some are only observing the ports then traditional to modern uh, what was the job of historian and now what is the job of historian that uh, before in in 1970s or 80s, the historians were looking towards newspaper. Uh, with, uh, the, there were a pile of newspapers in that room and they are observing uh, in that way. But uh, now what is, uh, news, historians are doing with newspaper? They are becoming now advanced. So let us see one with you. website. 
thing's awesome. Let's head up to the search box. Let me show you how this thing works. It helps you visualize the information you're trying to find, and it shows you on the map where the newspapers are. So I did a search for L.J. Larson. And it covers quite a wide time frame up there at the top. I didn't change the dates. I just wanted to see where it would plot this query. And sure enough, here in Minnesota, there's a dot. I click the dot, shows me these PDF documents. Now, these are newspapers. If I click one, here is the page. And sure enough, in the second column, here on the fourth paragraph, uh, L.J. Larson, he is a councilman in went for the hard drive. I'm going to do that too. Click Sage. So in this way, historians can work, can work that uh, these sites and lot of tools are there in online uh, platform that can be used by historians. But uh, newspaper are also a two-edged sword. That uh, uh, it is primary source for historians as well as uh, it cannot be reliable because uh, many uh, post you know, many fake news are also there. So uh, it is useful as well as this benefit also. Thank you.